Hello and welcome to a very, this is the last Blood Angels release from Games Workshop I plan on talking about in any regard. And this is for their whole Battle Force thing. Or whatever they call it, I don't really care. I'm just going to call it Bland Force. To uh, quote a guy named Seth, it's uh, Ultramarines painted red. How amazing. Now... I don't really have any interest in really pissing people off or upsetting them. If you like these Primaris because you like boring, I that's fine. I I don't care. If you're getting what you're enjoying, fantastic. But really, we have entered into a situation where I got to sit there and go, are we really in a better position than when we had a Blood Angels Tactical Marine box or a Blood Angels uh, Death Company box or a Blood Angels Sanguinary Guard. Can someone really look at these guys and not just use the, uh, hey, they're, they're tall argument and say the Sanguinary Guard are an improvement? Have the same level of love and attention put into them? No, they're they're pouring their intercessors with jump packs which we had and abs and stormcast helmets for some reason i still don't understand also they eliminated clearly one of the weapon options so you don't even have the axe anymore uh, they have done everything they could to eliminate how much plastic they're putting in the box and i guarantee you each one of these is about 65 ish dollars for three dudes. So enjoy those prices, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, things just continue to get uglier. But I wanted to, uh, to make this little video going, is this inspiring to anyone when they see these rather unremarkable, boring, Hey guys, we had a bunch of intercessors at the warehouse, so let's try to clear them out with an upgrade sprue. Wow. I mean, it's bad enough that they put the exact same pose next to each other, but slightly move the arms. It, it's just... It, does anyone feel that Games Workshop went to any degree of actual effort to inspire people to really capture the look and feel of the Blood Angels to do anything. When Tortuga Bay is doing a better job in terms of design and capturing not only the old school feel of the Blood Angels and the air quote firstborn, but also having them in better proportions that actually would make sense. I think we have truly entered into an era where Games Workshop just isn't needed. Their garbage design teams don't seem to be capable of anything other than, hey, can, can we repose the assets from an intercessor and call it another thing? Wow, guys, it's so, well, pay us lots of money. And you're not even getting anything really that amazing anymore okay so you're getting hard plastic whoopee freaking do i can't even say their quality is that much ahead of word games atlantic and you get more options and well i'd say value if you went and got some of the stargrave or frostgrave kits just because of customization the customization isn't in these kits the detail isn't in these kits. The only damn thing they have is branding. And that a lot of people have some dumb obsession with how tall a 28mm miniature is. And I, I just... I can't help but point out there's a ton of companies that do on par, if not superior jobs. And it's utterly disheartening because... I can sit here all day and go, hey, why didn't they put the same amount of effort into this new release as they did the old release? Why is the new release actually look 
like it comes from an earlier period in terms of how bland and boring it was. Wow, cool. We got a second edition model, guys, where they didn't really know what they were doing with some of these kits, but they look like step downs from kits that already existed where I, I'm just like make that kit but bigger and they don't they can't even do that you can't even get all the options from the old kits anymore you you now get fewer options more multi mono pose more bland design for even higher degrees of uh, charge <laughs> you're not even getting better quality really i mean <clears throat> when i can look at the old tactical squad for blood angels and go there was at least three times the amount of detail and care put into them and then i look at oh look guys it, it intercessor with chain sword and dumb bolter pistol fangy dangy wow he looks like the blue ones and it's like you're losing all the character of these models and i'm like what what can you even do when people's expectations their their willingness to put up with games workshop actually making garbage models that don't even have the character of what they used to and then we'll make the argument well you know it's tawa and that's all it matters to me. It's like, then go to Togartuga Bay. <laughs> For God's sake. You, you can go to a 3D print guy and probably get something that has more time and care put into it than this garbage. And that's the problem. Is like, okay, if you like it, I'm happy for you. You must be very easy to please. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But I have standards here. And I, my standard is, okay, well, if you're going to charge these prices, then it needs to be equal to the work, if not better, than what you have done in the past. And all we're getting is shabbier work for higher prices. And I'm, I'm like, okay, well, this is either spite, a loss of talent, or a company that is so eager to eventually not have to be making these miniatures that I don't find them a good investment. You're not get, you can see just how much less is in these releases than in the past. Okay, we've gone from five dudes with a ton of different options and unique sculpts and all of that, and hell, even more weapon options to three dudes who look like intercessors with abs who have two weapon options wow wow guys so you're getting two less dudes you're getting less weapon options i bet they shaved a ton of money off making these kits and they're growing hey well we're probably gonna make 10 20 percent more on each one of these kits as opposed to that old sanguinary guard Oh, man, we were wasting so much plastic in that one. Now, people will just get guys that look exactly like each other. And I estimate that one uh, battle force with uh, all the Sanguinary Guard and uh, I forget the character's name, uh, the Sanguinar, that is probably going to cost over $200 for the same three models repeated three times. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I, I have no intention on really covering any of this. We have reached well and truly, you are getting an Ultramarines kit. Because I dare you, if you just took off the blood drops off the captain and you painted him blue, he would just be mistaken as an Ultramarine. And I'm like, th this is the point. They don't have the character that was there and it's just like why why are we even talking about it anymore and that that's where i'm going to stop talking um i had a uh, i really liked blood angels i collected blood angels for a long time and i was rebuilding my kit 
Hits from uh, the old days, the old days. And um, I just look at these new ones and I'm like, they're not worth really time investment to even talk about. Because they're probably going to sell really well. People are going to talk about how they're the greatest catch ever known to man. And I'm going to sit here going, okay. <laughs> they they are tr well and truly a shittier de design. A more garbage release. And a total waste of time to talk about. They're not even fit to be bootlickers for the old blood angels and this is what will eventually kill the franchise that the primaris are literally just a blandening down of everything and an excuse to manufacture more and more garbage that has less and less character that um, as far as anyone's concerned will eventually just kind of make one giant amorphous blob and the price hikes that will continue will eventually just destroy the whole thing. So, thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.